spring is right around the corner so we're in the kitchen today with new home decor thrifted home decor a simple and easy diy on existing home decor we are getting everything ready for warmer days and more sunshine with our spring and easter decorating Hello there everyone and welcome back or if you are new welcome to my home I am so glad that each and every one of you are joining me today for my kitchen spring decorating I am showing you a good thorough before I like to clear the space out completely this is also my opportunity to give everything a good wipe down and cleaning making sure that it is starting with a fresh blank slate I have several areas in my kitchen that I like to set up and create vignettes. This first one here is probably my favorite. I like to combine the warmth of decor with the practicality of my KitchenAid mixer. I'm starting here with these cookbooks. These are very special cookbooks. I got to meet the author and she personalized and signed them for me. But the covers are pretty. The recipes are awesome. I think they look better when you take the dust jacket off of the books. I believe that when you combine things you love and adore, like this cutting board that was handmade and gifted to my husband and I when we got married back in 1996, then you create a home that you fall in love with. I am just layering the cutting board and those two cookbooks here against the side of my cabinet. In addition to that, I'm going to add some more special items here. This was my grandmother's rolling pin. My mother had it and then now I have it. I thrifted this vintage egg beater or hand mixer for $4. It is exactly like one that my grandmother had. And then I'm adding my delicious wooden spoon and then a very brightly spring colored dish towel to soften that harsh line of the KitchenAid mixer. Coming up shortly here in the video, I'm going to show you how just the simple touch of switching out this cup towel changes the entire look of this vignette. So stick around and watch for that. Just this past week, I added this toile bowl to my collection here from an estate sale. It was $1. It adds some color and pattern to my vignette. Inside of that china bowl, I'm going to place this brass pot. You may recognize it from all my little Christmas trees that I put in them at Christmas time. But for spring, I have this IKEA plant. I have had it for ages. Place it in the pot. You have created a space that has depth and layers. This next item I found at an antique shop. The booth at the shop was going out of business, so this was marked down to $2. It is a silver chafing dish. It should have like a glass dish sitting inside of it that was missing, but a little silver polish shined it up. I am going to use it to create a riser. In order to do that, the silver tray will be the base, and then I'm going to take this marble cutting board that I already owned and place it on top. I got lucky, and it just fits up on top of that silver tray. This creates a really nice base for me to place this little lamp. I gifted this to myself from Kohl's in January. It was my birthday month, so I had a $5 reward point coupon for that, and I combined that with a sale. So this little lamp only cost me like $657 for a brand new lamp that is very thrifty, so don't skip on those coupons that stores offer up on your birthday month. They really do pay off. I love my Mackenzie Child's courtly check tray and I like to use it to hide plugs and the cords like here on this lamp, but it is the perfect backdrop to also break up my tile backsplash. And then I love this sign, He is Risen. It is the whole meaning and purpose behind Easter. And as a Christ follower, I like to stay centered and focused on that, even amongst all of this other decor. The two can coexist when your heart is centered in the right direction. 
I got this plate and these two saucers at the same estate sale as I found at that bowl earlier. They were also a dollar each. I wish they had had more for me to pick up at such a good price. I'm going to stack them here at the end of the riser to display them and add that color and texture to the space. I don't know where I got this little faux plant in this little glass jar, but I've had it a while. And then I picked up just the other day these two little golden rabbits from the Target dollar spot. They were $1 each, and they fit perfectly here in this space. This hobnail planter makes the perfect fruit bowl. Shop your home and repurpose items, giving it a brand new look without spending a dime like I did with this planter. As promised, here is how you can create a completely different look just by changing from that vibrant cup towel to this pastel, more traditionally Easter looking cup towel in this gingham farmhouse print. Completely different look. It makes it so easy to change up your vignettes with these simple tricks. Moving down my kitchen countertop, I'm going to create another little vignette here in this space, starting with this hearth in hand napkin holder. It was from Target for $12.99, but we're not gonna use it to hold napkins. This is another little decorating trick for you. I often find that pictures and platters and decor that I style here on my countertops don't stay in place. So I am using this napkin holder as an easel for this fruit picture that I picked up half price at Hobby Lobby. I loved the colors in it. And fruit is a very popular decorating item right now. So I wanted to incorporate some of that here in my kitchen for spring 2024. You can see here just how good that napkin holder works for an easel. I'm going to use this gold candle holder as an anchor for this next little set of decor. I picked up this blue planter at Ross and am adding another one of those Ikea plants to it. I love to incorporate old and vintage thrifted finds with new finds and that is what I'm doing here with this little tiny cutting board from Target. It was $7.99 and the perfect base to anchor down this Pioneer Woman candle. I actually found this at Ollie's and it was $4.99. I love that the blue colors tie in and coordinate throughout my kitchen. I have some leftover Mackenzie Childs Easter cocktail napkins from last year. I'm going to set those out to use again this year. And then from the Target dollar spot, I got these little ceramic bunnies. They were $1 each and they fit perfectly here on these little trays, bringing that touch of Easter into this vignette in my kitchen. We'll be adding some spring and Easter touches here to the coffee maker area, starting with this wooden riser. I do not like that the cords show. I try to camouflage it as best as I can, but this is a kitchen and there are appliances to be used. This is actually a mainstay stoneware salad plate from Walmart. It was $1.72. I'm using it to break up all of the brown tones and to bring in that color of blue on the rim. I'm adding my vanilla syrup, this rabbit mug to hold my gold coffee stirrers, and then this little candy dish. It's going to be used as a tea caddy just to set out a couple of my favorite teas Simple as that, we have now set up a cute little area by our coffee maker. We are now moving across 
across the kitchen to my bar area here. And this first area is going to be all about cute practicality. I have this divided tray from Kirkland's. I don't even know if it is still available. I'm going to dress it up with this little miniature fern faux plant. And then these spice jars hold my supplements that I take every day. So they're cute, but they're visible and in sight. So I don't forget to take them. As you can tell from all my previous vignettes, I love using risers, plates, and trays to anchor my decor down to the countertop. It just helps to keep it from appearing as if it's floating. So with that in mind, I'm going to layer this riser with this decorative dinner plate that I thrifted probably 20 years ago. I have a cloche that I am going to put this faux bird's nest up into and then set it on the plate creating this little spring display. Since we frequently use this area of the kitchen I don't want to put a lot of home decor items over here. What I do want to do is add a little treat jar. This little rabbit ear treat jar is from World Market, but it was purchased back in 2020. I bought it like days before everything shut down. It is the only Easter home decor item I bought that year. So I will forever remember that time period associated with this little jar. We are going to take just a minute to get a little crafty with this quick and easy DIY. My sister gifted me this tray several years ago and I have used it all over my house. I love it, but I wanted to give it a new look. I had this removable wallpaper left over from a previous project. I thought it would be perfect to transform this tray into a new home decor for spring. It is super easy. Clean your tray measure out and cut your wallpaper and then just stick it down and this wallpaper I will have it linked down in the description for you it does not ruin the surface if you ever want to pull it up and replace it or go back to your original tray brand new tray it didn't cost me anything you can find trays like this at the thrift store and with some scrapbooking paper or removable wallpaper you can transform your home decor items my new tray makes it easy to move my decor when anyone wants to sit at these two places at my bar, which is a must when I have family and guests. My husband gifted me this small Minka vase for Christmas. I am in love with it. To the vase, I'm going to add some greenery and some spring floral stems. I'm going to use the greenery to fill out the vase and then the pink floral stems to add a pop of color and some texture to the arrangement. When making your floral arrangements, you could just use the florals and leave it light and wispy, or you could just have greenery if you don't care for the color of the florals. There's so many ways to do this. I have used these stems before, so they are already kind of bent, molded, and shaped, but that is something you definitely want to do. Fluff out everything, incorporate it together, bend them around. That just helps to make it look more realistic and less faux greenery. While I finish fluffing all of this out, I'll tell you about the next item coming up that I'm going to add to my tray. It came from an estate sale and I shared it in a recent video, but it is this silver urn with a lid. It is so pretty. I am in love with it. And because you can see this tray from 360 degrees, I want it to look good on all sides. I thrifted this plate 
It is so colorful and bright. It helps to break up that rattan pattern on that removable wallpaper. And then from years past, I believe several years ago, I have this little rattan bunny rabbit and I'm going to place him here on the tray. So now you can see it looks good from all angles all around my kitchen, my Eden kitchen nook and my family room. camera I placed a couple of special Easter egg plates up here on top of my refrigerator. I've had them since my boys were little. I am so glad that you spent your time here with me today decorating my kitchen for spring and Easter 2024. I hope I gave you a lot of inspiration and ideas for decorating your own home. I always appreciate when you hit that thumbs up and if you haven't already I invite you to subscribe join the uniquely Lisa family come back for that next video I am going to have so much more spring decorating I have some thrifting I've gone to the Goodwill bins it is going to be so much fun here at my home and I would love for you to be a part of it so until I see you in those upcoming videos I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day and I look forward to seeing you on here again real soon.